My female friends hit me up and they tell me these stories about how they flirted their way out of speeding tickets. And I hear these stories often. And if you're a guy watching this video, you can probably relate to me when I say, I don't get chances to flirt when I get pulled over. Plus I'm black, ain't no, no flirting out of nothing. Six. I get a call from my friend Wendy one day, and I'm just gonna say this about Wendy. Wendy's chromosomes line up very nicely, okay? Girl look good. And she starts telling me how she just got a third $1,500 ticket. As she's telling the story, it's pretty obvious to me that the cop was trying to let her off with a warning, but she went straight hood rat. How dare you pull me over? You are hiding in the bushes like a homeless bum. You can't hide when you clock people. That's entrapment. So because she was mouthing off, not only did he give her a speeding ticket, he added on a bunch of fines and then doubled it because she was in a construction zone. When she finished telling me this story, I made a promise if I ever get the chance to flirt my way out of a ticket. I'm gonna show you how it's done. So a few weeks later, I'm driving, and for those of you familiar with the Orlando area, this is on Old Winter Garden Road. They were turning two lanes into three lanes, and I'm driving, I look up, massive construction out of nowhere. I realize I'm the only car in this lane. Look over my shoulder, and I start to turn. As I turn into this lane, I realize the car behind me is a cop. This cop speeds up and almost rams me. And then all of a sudden, they put on their sirens. Like <laughs> so then I'm thinking, what the heck did I do? Like, what was I supposed to crash back there? Like, why are you even trying to pull me over right now? So now here's the picture. I'm in the only lane available, stuck in traffic. This cop is behind me going crazy on the sirens like this is Coachella or Ultrafest. And a bunch of cones and construction to my right. I can't go anywhere. And I'm sitting in the car, kind of just staring through the front window, thinking to myself, there's no way this cop wants me to pull over right here in the middle of the lane. Then I hear, pull over now! Right now! Hmm. That's a lady cop's voice. So I pull over in the construction and there's like massive rocks and Lord knows what over here. All I'm concerned about is not running over a nail at this point. So I turn off my car and I'm like, okay, let's do this. Look up in my rear view mirror and out steps a lady cop. But it wasn't just a female cop. It was a black female cop. And I'm like, yes, it is about to be on like Diddy Kong. Racing. I'm about to lay the Mac down so bad you don't even know. Acts about me. So now I've got two mission objectives. Objective number one, flirt with the female cop. Objective number two, get out of paying a ticket. Now this lady cop doesn't walk up to my driver's side window. She walks up to the passenger side window. Boom, 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 boom. This lady started banging on my window so hard I thought I was listening to the Jurassic Park soundtrack. Open this door right now! Okay. Roll down the window now! And I'm sitting there like, what in the world? This is not how I visioned this whole scenario playing out in my head. I make all my movements really slow and awkward just to kind of maybe give her some time to realize how psychotic she's acting right now. I didn't have automatic windows. I had the old school roll down windows, okay? It's, don't ask, all right? So I lean over real slow. I'm manually rolling this window down and I'm looking at this lady like she's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And then she starts. But what is your problem? What is your problem? You almost killed me back there. Where did you learn how to drive? Did you learn how to drive at a school for blind people? How long have you had your license? Since I was 16. I would, oh, 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 oh. This lady is talking in like fragments, like she has Tourette's, like she's not even finishing a sentence, she is so mad. You know, I don't see this ending well, so in my mind, I'm just like, I'ma have to bust a Kamehameha up in this girl's grill, cause she obviously don't know who she's dealing with. Give me your license register! Oh, oh, oh. Kamehameha. And it's at this point that I add a third mission objective to my list. Don't get shot, cause this lady is about 10 seconds away from grabbing her gun, popping some caps off my car, and then claiming self-defense. I would write you the biggest ticket I have ever written in my life if I was not in the world. Oh, you are so lucky right now. You are so lucky right now. Now, I've joked about the Street Fighter bonus stage in the past, but for the first time, I'm fearful I'm about to be on the receiving end of that, because all I'm waiting for is some random dude to drive by and then yell out, round one, fight! And this lady goes ballistic.
So she yells her head off some more, runs back to her car, and before the smoke even clears, she's gone. And I'm like, what just happened? Okay, mission status. Objective one, flirt with the lady cop. Failed. Objective two, get out of paying a ticket. Okay, pass. Objective three, avoid getting shot up. Pass. As I'm sitting there, it dawned upon me like, <laughs> I get it. That lady cop obviously is not attracted to black guys.